Welcome to the Quarto Journal. For today's episode, we are going to show you a little bit more about old Dubai's culture by visiting the Al Fahidi historical neighborhood. Keep on watching! Before anything else, let's stop by the Arabian Tea House for a delicious Emirati breakfast. As you step inside the Arabian Tea House, you are transported into the old, authentic style with turquoise benches, white rattan chairs, lace curtains, and beautiful flowers. They sell a variety of Emirati food from appetizers, breakfast, to main courses and traditional sweets. One of our favorites here is this karak tea. It's known for its strong and spiced flavor, often brewed with black tea, cardamom, cinnamon, and other spices. For the star of the show, we ordered the Arabic breakfast tray which comes with tanur bread, scrambled eggs, tomatoes, mixed olives, roast jam, labne, halloumi cheese, and fresh cream and honey. We also ordered this fresh beef liver with potato, tomato, seasoned with Arabic spices, and lemon juice. Now that we're finally done, we're gonna continue to walk around the Al Fahidi neighborhood. Today, this neighborhood is a testament to Dubai's humbling beginnings and its rapid transformation into a global hub for business and tourism. This neighborhood also houses several museums that offers insight into Dubai's history, culture, and traditions. If you're an art enthusiast, this is the place to visit because of its beautiful galleries. To start is this XVA gallery, which is stocked in the elegant hotel and cafe showcasing contemporary pieces. We are now in what they call a public square, and in this particular area, there's a captivating art installation that replicates a bustling Emirati bazaar. It features shops selling traditional Emirati dresses, spices, and various products that reflect the rich cultural heritage of the Emiratis. These historical buildings with high air towers are actually constructed using traditional materials like stone, gypsum, teak, sandalwood, fronds, and palm wood. Another gallery is this Fatma Luta Gallery, which is actually owned by Fatma Luta herself. She is an exceptional name in the art world, and she excels in abstract art as well as performance art. Her artwork embodies and reflects her hometown, the UAE, the Emirati culture, and the people. Next, we saw the Albastakia department store, which is home to the Yun Cafe, which is a Chinese cafe. And within it is a mini art gallery showcasing cultural information along with a collection of Chinese tableware. This is for all the coffee lovers out there. Check out this coffee museum in Al Fahidi. Coffee has always been an important part of Arabic culture, and the Coffee Museum in Dubai showcases exactly why.
The museum consists of two floors containing unique and interesting sections to be explored. The ground floor has different roasting and brewing styles from various countries and are live demonstrated as well as international antique items are represented. You can also try their Ethiopian coffee, which is renowned for its vibrant, fruity, and flowery characteristic. Now we are at the first floor, and this part of the museum offers a wide selection of coffee books to read and coffee documentaries to see. All around the neighborhood, you can see souvenir shops which sell exotic spices like saffron, cardamom, cinnamon, and more. And they also have textile souks which offer an array of fabrics including silk, cotton, and linen. Even if you're just strolling around the area without going inside restaurants or art galleries, the Al Fahidi historical neighborhood is indeed a picturesque place itself with its charming architecture, narrow lanes, and traditional wind tower designs. The area offers a plethora of photo opportunities from various angles and corners. You should also try their camel milk gelato. It has a sweet, slightly salty, and creamy taste. So if you come to Dubai, you should definitely try this ice cream. And this concludes our 15th episode. Hopefully you enjoyed strolling with us around the Al Fahidi historical neighborhood and got to see more of what the old Dubai looks like. When you visit Dubai, definitely add this to your travel itinerary. Please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing down below. We will post more fun videos about our family, lifestyle, food, and travel. See you on the next episode. Bye!